Boy, oh boy, I was waiting for this moment. All my card readings, Trump card readings, reading on Hollywood, was coming to this moment. And the most important card was this one. I had a little swan that was trapped in the thorns, in the brush of the thorns, struggling to get out. And a little bluebird came with the information and shined a light on it. There was this evil spirit that was upon it. And it started to disappear because the little bluebird of enlightenment came down on it. And now we're here. Let's look at what they've done to try to infiltrate America, which they've done. All right. Where did they start? Well, 2016 Trump won and said, I will be the target and I will wear it on my back. And they attacked him like no other. Who attacked Trump? Saturday Night Live, all the late night show hosts. Um, what had they have been? What what had they been doing um, to divide and conquer? Because the name of this video is "Divide and Conquer." Well, let's go to the gay community. They broke you guys up into LGBTQ, F, P, Q, R, T, R. That's division, okay? And then they went to our schools with CRT, and I had talked to a high school teacher that day. He was like. They're not actually teaching CRT in our school, but uh, uh, my white students from my black students and my Latinx, boom, they got you, dude. They needed to divide and conquer. And we have multiple examples. And the best part about where I work, I work at a hotel. It's a hub. And I don't work at a hotel in like, you know, Tucson, Arizona, in the, the flats or whatever. I don't know. I work at a hotel where there's people from everywhere that comes in. I'm talking everywhere. I don't know who I'm talking to from one day to the next. I'm just constantly adapting, all right? And I noticed one thing. We've moved from vodka sodas, all right? And um, this is the drinks that you bought. And this is, I have to order the inventory because I know you're, you're drinking vodka sodas. I know the, you don't tell me something. I know what people are drinking. They're drinking vodka sodas. They were drinking IPAs back in the day. What are they drinking now? Randomly in the last two weeks, I have had to go through almost three 16 ounce cups of olives. Cause usually I just keep it like a little cup of olives in the freezer or not in the fridge to just because every now and then somebody orders a martini. No, it's been a massive wave of gin martinis. A massive wave, okay? So something is going on in the matrix that we live in, and I told you this, we live in a matrix, that is telling everybody to order martinis, okay? And this is a massive switch from, hey, can I get a vodka soda and a water? Can I get a vodka soda and a water? You guys have been drinking vodka sodas and waters for like the last five years. And uh, can I get an old fishing? Can I get an old fishing in bourbon? And it's, it's a massive switch. So now I'm using my real life statistical data at the bar to realize that something in the matrix has shifted to make you all start drinking gin. Dude, I've been a bartender for over 17 years. We've never pushed gin like this. We never pushed bourbon like that. We've Vodka is always popular, but it was always vodka cran, vodka orange. This is why my analysis is very important. You have to listen to it. You think Mike's crazy. I am crazy, but in a good way because I see it and I research other things. I look at ritualistic magic, sex magic, all kinds of other things, things that they are doing. Because remember, I told you in the Tom Brady voice sucks. Sexual magic is what I've used here. I've used it when I get down on my bed right here. This is why I have my bed in my background, because it's a euphoria that I use. It's this energy that I use. It's creating something. It doesn't have to be a baby. It can be a man and a man. It can be a woman and a woman. It can be whatever it is. But it's that emotional connection, that feeling, that vibration that I put push out in the universe and I have symbolism of a man like me Saint Mikey and then I've got a woman and a lion which is a man because when I when I finish I always finish on top like a lion and I do and that's how it is that's why I got that there that's all sexual uh, magic behind me I finish like a lion when I finish I can't finish with a woman on top of me I can't I gotta be on I gotta I gotta be on top I gotta finish like a lion I gotta grrr, I growl too ask him but you know if you know but with that being said We've been divided and conquered. And this is why I'm going after the sports athletes, why I went after Drew Brees. Look how uh, long he lasted in the uh, arena of the broadcasting. 
Brady's next, okay? He's trying to hide and go back because he is their number one puppet. Do you think right now, after all you've seen, after how they've controlled CNN, after they've controlled all social media, that Tom Brady just won all those Super Bowls? You're an idiot, all right? They're trying to groom him. The problem is his voice sucks, and I called it out, all right? And I also called out that his wife openly admitted she was a witch, because she's so cocky like that. They're walking around with their nuts hanging out all over the table. Their nuts and their cooters just all over the table. All right? And this is where we're at right now. The division. How do they divide us? Let's talk about Black Lives Matter. What was Black Lives Matter? What did they want to do? Destroy the nuclear family. Well, guess who's the nuclear family? Tom Brady and his wife. Has he stepped up and spoken against it? No. No. In the middle of the pandemic, who won the Super Bowl? Tom Brady. All right? With the skull and bones in Tampa Bay. What happened at the halftime show? The weekend came out there with a mask on and blood and all this stuff to just make fun of us and mock us because it's a giant club and you and I ain't in it. All right? You have to wake up and see it. This is an agenda that they are pushing. It's real. We're living in it. We are literally in a matrix. I'm sending, remember, I'm sending this to you digitally. You're looking at it digitally. So start to look at it like, whoa. whoa. And I'm not saying that we're all digital this. And I, I go into a uh, the closet right here and put a thing in the back of my neck. But you have to start to wake up and see it. How can you control the matrix? You control comedy, Hollywood. Colbert is falling apart right now. Stephen Colbert, late night show host, Jimmy Fallon, all of them. I did card readings. This is why I did card readings on all the major influential people because they are the ones that are trying to convince everybody and it works. And this is why I'm telling you at the bar, all of a sudden there's been a major shift from, uh, can I get a club soda and a vodka club soda with a lime? And uh, uh, can I get an old hat on? And all of a sudden, it's like, can I get a martini? Dude, three 16 ounce cups of uh, olives? That, to me, is something is moving the matrix, all right? Something you're watching, whether it's on Netflix. And I don't watch all this stuff. Maybe I should, I don't. I just watch reality. I'm at a bar. This isn't a Truman show. This isn't the Matrix. I'm at a bar, and all of a sudden, I'm dusting off bottles of gin that were sitting there forever. I've never in a 17-year career have sold this many martinis. So something, gin martinis, you know? It's different when Sex in the City was out there, and everybody wanted a Cosmopolitan, because a Cosmopolitan is basically a vodka cranberry with a little triple sack and a little special pineapple, because bam! Hollywood. What was Sex in the City? Hollywood. And this is why ragtag on sports. Because who promoted BLM? We got them now. We got them all on film. Who promoted BLM? Who promoted segregation? Who was an anti-vaxxer? Who demonized Aaron Rodgers? Who got to walk into the Super Bowl, the Tampa Bay Super Bowl, with Tom Brady without a mask and was praised for it? Tom Brady. So realize... He is prepped and primed for some other cool-ass stuff in his life, but some probably tyranny in our life. Understand the puppets. We can see it now. We got the chalkboard, just like this. Here it is. Here's my notes. Here it is. We can analyze it now. Just like they analyze a the game, we can analyze them now. We can talk about uh, the other side, okay? CNN standing in front of a burning building and telling you it doesn't exist. Oh, I wonder how that happened. Hmm. Maybe video games that they pumped into your kids' brains for the last 10 years. What is that What is that one video game that just promotes violence? It doesn't matter because there's just another movie that promotes violence. The lockdowns. What was that? The purge? Oh, let's do the purge. We just purge everybody, you know? And you have all these things that's happening, and now we can see it. And that's how they try to desensitize you to prepare you for the battle. We are under attack. It's not just a physical attack. It's a mental attack to control your mind. And once you see it, you can't unsee it. But with that being said, peace out. Talk to you later, Holmes.